so these leaked i think the other day or just well not leaked i'm not sure is it a leak with that you got four images high res potentially but let's see so this is a, an image from high snobiety of these new rubberized off-white dunks which i'm assuming is an extension of the you know the artificial resurgence of dunks back in the street or sneaker market at the moment it seems like you know every other week there's new dunk popping out of the woodwork nike are doing their very best to make this a thing i'm not necessarily sure it is um for what i've seen so far judging by the fits online kids are still wearing you know really chunky trainers or jordan ones or uh designer shoes for the most part or whatever or whatever yeah but i don't really see the dunk being a thing I, i've even seen a little bit more of a resurgence in the air force one especially off the back of the supreme one so this is a bit of an odd one that they're really pouring a lot of money and resources into making this a thing but you know nike have more money than god and able to just you know do these um self what do you call it these sort of uh exercises that only benefit themselves really don't really benefit the customer in any way shape or form it's just like an exercise in branding for the sake of it but as a model i think they're pretty interesting so it's a headline from high snobai he says here's our first look at the off-white and nike rubberized dunk so essentially you've got a dunk model i think silhouette that's been made to look like your retro dc es sort of chunky skate shoe from the 90s era um, the interesting part of it is that it's a nike sb so i'm assuming it's a newer model that maybe virgil was ask to work on and contribute some ideas to or maybe it was a model that was already in line to kind of come out a new model they had already in the stash and what they usually do when collaborations so i'm sure most of you know this but what they usually do when they're doing collabs is that they'll usually hit up somebody who they think aligns well with the brand or with the model they're trying to bring out so they can introduce it to the market with a brand co-sponsor or co-sign and then once it drops with the brand co-sign they're able then to kind of you know um roll out some grs or some tier zero kind of colorways maybe with some retailers maybe with some other lower tier brands and then from there if it's a success it gets uh, filtrated into the general market if it's a flop like let's say the kim jones nike thing that he did the twp shoe that he did back in the day a few months a few months ago i think or maybe a couple of years ago let me see what do you remember that one that nike let's see nike kim jones shoe that's a lwp this didn't really work out for them in this way right and this was the same sort of idea where you take this model that was probably in the works anyway or maybe it was in the archive and kim jones picked it out you get him to design a pair which is i think is these ones right got them here so you get this pair that he designs kim jones put them out this kim jones um nike has zoom lwp got them in three colorways and then the hope is once that comes out and it does well you can then iterate with general gr models and people maybe could uh take them on board from there so this is a what well, you've got a rubberized dunk upper with bits of suede it looks like i'm assuming we'll see a probably a video drop of these two they'll probably be a nike skate team will probably be able they'll probably put a film out based on it we'll probably might see other stores other more core skate stores doing a collab with them too especially with the resurgence of dc shoes with the, some of the collaborations that they've done over the last few months so we are definitely going to see these um popping out uh sooner rather than later but let's take a look at some of the images below of what the shoe actually looks like so got the conventional dog so there in lime green you've got the nike sb or nike air written at the back here with a bubble that's another addition to i forgot to mention there's actually an air bubble too so nike dunks usually don't usually have an air bubble but they've got the air bubble he's got his kind of signature little orange pull tab on the on the side of the swoosh there the swoosh has been kind of gutted out to expose so you can see the, up, the absolute upper which looks pretty cool you've got the quintessential helvetica text on the laces with the uh, quotation marks there so again a shoe that i'm sure will look really good once skated into you know once beaten up a little bit um in different colorways too will look pretty cool and if anything it's probably a far more interesting take on the dunk than maybe some of the other grs that have come out i've i've been on record on here and saying that i'm not really a big fan of it i think it's too artificially done it's a little bit too uh contrived but i think stuff like this works really well it lands well with the brand with what virgil's trying to do in terms of connecting with the kids connecting back to these you know skating influences and background in that respect and again it's just a more of an interesting way to reintroduce a shoe that we all kind of know and love especially to a newer demographic maybe to the kids that want to wear skate lifestyle 
pieces and not actually skate and for the kids that actually do skate who actually want to wear a pair of nikes instead of wearing dcs or yes because they have having connection with it um but yeah i like the silhouette it doesn't look as banana-y that as i thought it would look some of the other pictures make it look a bit more pointed up it's got a great shape um i love the idea that it is definitely a, something that harkens back to a uh, an era where a lot of the shoes had different bits of paneling on the upper loads of really distracting little pieces the piping is really reminiscent of some old school shoes and maybe a dc with i forgot what it was it had like a frame pipe and it went around the, the right around the outside um so yeah definitely a shoe that i can see being you, you know you could visualize them doing like a vintage 90s inspired um advert for it or a little video edit um, you can envision them maybe pulling from the archive and maybe digging out some past athletes or some past, sorry, Nike sponsored um, skateboarders from back in the day and getting them to kind of rock a pair and do them justice. There's a lot of scope for these shoes. So I'm, I'm for one, quite excited to see what they look like once they get out. I'm not sure if this is going to be the final release, if they're going to have some tweaks in it by the end, but it should be really good. Again, I'd happy to skate them, probably wouldn't necessarily wear them day to day. I think they'll probably be a lot, work, look a lot better once being up and stuff, but again we're not sure if, if it's a final model this is a feature by some chinese it looks like hanzu ying uh, profile on instagram i'm pretty sure they might get a hold of all the newer releases of shoes maybe through their chinese ma manufacturing sources and stuff let's see the instagram page yeah they've got images of some newer release shoes so they look a bit whack here on the on the foot but the kid wearing them probably isn't really doing them justice but yeah i kind of see what's what they look like in action on the top of a board somewhere doing some heel flips some big spin so yeah they should look really cool so definitely keep an eye out for those no idea when they're going to come out or they say release date is spring 2020 so i'm assuming they'll be delayed too though a lot of the stuff is getting pushed back because of the whole coronavirus lockdown stuff so that might make sense which is interesting they're doing that right everyone's indoors everyone has disposable income because they've not been going out but they're deciding to push back releases of shoes they can, they, can, they can still sell them so that goes to show that most of the stuff that they're releasing they just want to release it so they can have a queue and have online have like kind of real life shop frenzy isn't it you don't really need to kind of push back a release or at least they have an exclusive shoe you can just still put them out people are still going to buy them but you know what do i know so spring 2020 due to come out probably going to price about 180 it says here judging by the instagram caption but we never know so definitely keep an eye on that one that was a quick little bit of news there